Well, I'm at the RSA with an empty room at the moment, just ready to start in half an hour our session on how digital technology can help young people engage in their communities economically and socially. And my co-facilitator here is uh, Tim Davies, and Tim's just rehearsing his uh, opening presentation, so I thought I'd capture that live. Uh, give us a run through, Tim. Okay, so uh, we started this challenge, this sort of project, with this phrase, exploring the role of digital technologies to support young people to engage socially and economically with their communities. And to, to start unpacking that, we went to the web. We've had a Google Doc up. We've had Twitter conversations. We've been uh, blogging. David's been gathering lots of blog posts from people and, and collecting links on Tumblr to explore that, 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 that area. Um, but as we come to today, we've got to start unpacking, well, what do we mean by that? We've got this phrase, economic and social engagement. And Nominet Trust are really interested in the challenges in that space that digital can deal with. And we know what some of the headline challenges are. We know we've got high levels of youth unemployment. We know young people feel excluded from, from local communities. But we want to start by digging into the unmet challenges. Where's the real space for digital innovation to work? So we might, for example, say we know under that unemployment challenge, uh, we've got a deeper challenge that education is perhaps not providing people with the skills they need for employment. And we can go deeper into that and to say, well, what's underlying that? Do we know what the right schools are? Do employers know how to assess the skills young people burden? Are schools providing the right skills not in the right way? What are the real unmet challenges that we haven't addressed enough with digital innovation before? Essentially, as, as Dan Such put it, we're trying to find those elephants in the room uh, that we can uh, address uh, with um, some digital innovation. So it's about going from the surface challenges not directly to the obvious digital solution, so from lack of volunteering to a website with volunteering information on, but going to those gaps, finding and addressing where are the real gaps, like, for example, how does digital help us match up the right sorts of volunteering opportunities rather than just provide information. So we're going to start by doing that today, and then we're going to look at some of the messages people have already brought together. Uh, we're looking at youth, we're looking to meet those challenges, not looking at specific solutions at this stage, not trying to pitch things, but we are looking for how digital is part of the solution. We're going to do that today in four parts. We're going to start from some scenarios, we're going to identify those challenges and unmet needs, and then we're going to take the messages people have already sourced, uh, we've got them on some cards, uh, and we're going to look at how those might be useful to someone trying to meet the challenges we've elaborated, uh, and then we're going to be identifying examples and insights and experience from the field, which we'll be following up further as this process goes forward. So exactly how that will work with when this room fills up with uh, 20 people in about 15 minutes' time, we don't know. Uh, and this has very much been evolving uh, as, a, as, a, as a process based on all the input we've had so far. But hopefully, in a couple of hours' time, we'll have a lot more insights into what the challenges are and how digital uh, factors in meeting them. <laughs> 